So good to be back with you with Storytime with Mama Jen. And tonight's story is called Kelsey the Purple Swan, and it was requested by Jason. So I'm sure many of you have heard of a black swan, but how many of you have heard about a purple swan? So when swans hatch, they are neither white nor black, but brownish or gray in their feathers. When Kelsey the swan hatched, her father and mother thought, pink? How strange. Little Kelsey liked being pink, but her siblings thought she was just a little strange, just for being different. She knew that she had nothing to do with being pink, so she just did all the things that young swans do. As she and her siblings began to mature, the others turned white, while Kelsey turned lavender and then deep purple, nearly black just not quite. Have you ever heard of the color blue-black? That's kind of the way Kelsey was, but very, very purple. Kelsey was fully grown and wasn't too concerned about being different. She felt her purple feathers made her unique, kind of like royalty. Funny enough, the nearby castle had a bird-loving caretaker who watched over the lakes nearby. One day, Kelsey got close enough to the docks that the caretaker saw her. Oh my, the caretaker thought. She's the most beautiful and unusual swan he had ever seen. He tried to get Kelsey to come closer, but mm, she had heard enough of humans and what they can do. Sometimes they throw stuff at the swans. They also got the swans and ducks within their sharp fishing hooks when they were out fishing. Sometimes they dumped garbage in their water. Nope, Kelsey was too smart to get close to the humans. One day though, the caretaker was sitting by the lake painting. Kelsey floated a little closer, swam a little closer, and she realized he was painting her. Why, she thought, hmm. I'm the strange bird. Why not paint a normal swan like the other painters who come to the water to paint? Day after day, Kelsey would watch while the caretaker painted her picture. The deep blue and red that he mixed with just a little black that created the beautiful purple feathers, so unique and so her. She took off for her migration. It was time to go. She had so been off on her own that she was nervous as she would have to fly solo, but shortly after takeoff, she was joined by a beautiful male, a black swan. And he got close enough to get a good look and he liked what he saw. The two flew together and migrated back each year to the lake. Kelsey laid her eggs not far from the same spot her mama had laid hers. Kelsey's mate was a fierce at was fierce was as fierce as protecting their eggs as she was. Once the little cygnets were born, Kelsey put them under her wing and took them out for swimming lessons. Their papa gave them rides on his back. Out of the three cygnets, they had one white, one purple, and one black. So unusual. Kelsey took her small swans to where the caretaker was painting, and he exclaimed, Oh, my purple beauty, it seems that life has become full for you. What a beautiful family you have. Kelsey held her head, proud of who she had become and the beautiful family they had together. What Kelsey hadn't known from the painting that the caretaker painted, the kingdom began to use the purple swan as a sign for their kingdom, representing strength, royalty, and unique giftings. I hope you enjoyed the story of Kelsey the Purple Swan. And as usual, sleep well and sweet dreams.